Nolagen here, Buzzy Ty. Good stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we're at Buzzy's Authentic Thai Restaurant where they have some good stuff in here with some New Orleans Thai food. Buzzy's Authentic Thai is located in the Marigny neighborhood of New Orleans at 1760 North Rampart Street, which is at the intersection of North Rampart and St. Anthony Street, just a few minutes away and two blocks away from the New Orleans French Quarter. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we will do a Thai food review video as we continue our New Orleans food review series. So we will invite you to eat with me New Orleans Thai food. Our New Orleans food vlog is always looking for the best New Orleans offers. So comment below and let me know your favorite Thai restaurants. And as we do our restaurant review videos, let me know what your favorite Thai dishes are and where you eat them. This is my first visit to Budsy's Authentic Thai and my pal the Commodore recommended I come over here and try this place out. So I'm excited to go ahead and let's walk on inside here and check this place out. So it looks like this is just one main big dining room area. Then on the opposite wall is a bar and they do have some drink specials with a Champs of Lazies, a Neon Negroni and a Green Goddess. And then we don't get a hostess, we just walk up and order at the counter here. So there's a couple folks already in front of me, but then I got a menu and let's check out what they have on here. So at the top of the menu, it says many dishes are made spicy. Please ask before ordering. And then we have street food. And then it's written in a script that's not the easiest to read. I would probably suggest they kind of change that and make it in a little more easy to read uh, script there. So we have drunken noodles, we have Buzzy's noodles, and we have Buzzy's Royal Pad Thai, and we have Pad Si U, and we have stir fried crispy pork with Thai kill, spicy stir fry with basil, and then we have Thai fried rice, and then Isan food with waterfall pork, mushroom larb, chicken larb, spicy some tam papaya salad set with grilled pork shoulder and sticky rice. Gang Om Soup and Bamboo Salad. Then we have Classic Soups with Koi Soy Noodle Soup, Tom Yum Soup, Creamy Tom Yum Soup, and Tom Ga Coconut Milk Soup. Then we have curries with Red Curry, Green Curry, Pumpkin Curry, and Pineapple Curry. Then Street Snacks with Grilled Pork Shoulder, Steamed Dumplings, Hissin Sausage, Fried Lard Balls, Thai Style Fried Fish Cakes, Mango Coconut Sticky Rice Dessert, Spicy Sumtam Papaya Salad. So I decided to get a creamy Tom Yum soup and drunken noodles along with water to drink. My total with tip was $33.65. So I went and grabbed a table, sat down to wait for my food, and they were really busy and they were hard at work back in the kitchen putting orders out. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but my food finally arrived. So here's my creamy Tom Yum soup. It smells really great. It looks really nice. And this is a really big bowl. All right, let's give it a taste. Ooh, it's got some nice flavor. It's got some good spices in here. This is a really pretty looking soup. It's got good flavors. I'm really enjoying this. I think I could have made just this a meal. There's some very generous pieces of chicken in here, so it certainly has a good mix of things. You've got a little tomato right here. That goes well also with all the different flavors and the spices and the chicken. Ooh. So this is uh, certainly a very good version of this soup and all of the coconut creamy deliciousness is blending very nicely and I'm very much enjoying the experience uh, just the overall aroma that's just really making everything smell fantastic around me. Each and every bite is full of flavor and taste. They spiced it to a perfect level, so it's not completely destroying everything inside my mouth and burning everything. It's a good spicy flavor that gives me that good burn tingle I like and not the uh, breaking out into sweats and getting ready to have my throat lock up with too much spice. So they did a certain uh, excellent job in perfecting that little art and technique of getting the spices just right. And all the little surprises and different little things in there. 
So just like I've destroyed this Tom Yum soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this soup. And while you're down there, make sure to check out things to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Next up, I have my Drunken Noodles with Chicken and they brought both my soup and my Drunken Noodles at the same time. So, uh, you know, usually I like to get my soup first and then my Drunken Noodles. And the other thing is, I've never gotten drunken noodles that look quite like these noodles. And usually drunken noodles are very wide noodles. These uh, look and taste exactly like the ramen noodles you buy in the grocery store in the little packages. So, not sure what's going on with this. Maybe they ran out of the uh, drunken noodles, usual type of wide noodle, and had to go run to the store and do a quick replacement switcheroo with the ramen noodles. But I have... Uh, Eating a lot of Thai food in my time, and I don't remember ever having a ramen noodle type noodle go on my drunken noodles or any of the other Thai dishes I can think of offhand. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a strange time these days, so maybe they just did a little filled expedient method and had to get some noodles quickly. Now, the uh, flavor of this is pretty good. The uh, chicken certainly has a good protein in here and all the different flavors are combining very nicely overall. I do have to say that it's nowhere nearly as flavorful and well spiced as my Tom Yum coconut soup as oh, that had a lot more wonderful flavors going on. This has a much milder and low key flavor and it just seems to have a little bit of a simpler kind of uh, mix of flavors going on. So it's, uh, it's okay. Um, you know, it's not my usual expected drunken noodle flavor profile. It's not a bad flavor. It's just uh, definitely a different flavor than I'm used to in drunken noodles. And it's certainly a lot more calm and tame than I was expecting. So I ordered all my food at the same spice level and it doesn't seem that it quite came out that way. That seems to be on a very mild spectrum. I wouldn't even say it's medium spice. It seems just uh, much more on the mild level. And uh, they do give you quite a generous serving of food here. So I'm not gonna be going away hungry, that's for certain. Honestly, I could have very easily have stopped after the soup and that would have been plenty of food for a meal. Yet, I have to go out and sacrifice and sample these drunken noodles for all of you out there so you can see what it looks like. And I was curious too to see what the drunken noodles would be like because this is my first visit and the drunken noodles are always kind of one of the standard things. I like to compare and contrast between different restaurants to see how they measure up in the Thai world of food. I also wouldn't have minded having a few more vegetables thrown in here as well. So I do like a good mix of vegetables and meat. And, you know, the noodles are a good thing to kind of hold everything together. But I do love these crunchy, delicious veggies in here. Because that just adds another lovely layer of texture and flavor. And makes everything go very nicely. So uh, I'm taking down these noodles pretty quick and easily because let me tell you, I am a packaged ramen expert. I ate a whole lot of ramen noodles in my college days. I think I lived on ramen noodles for weeks at a time back in my freshman year of college. I have to say I'm slightly impressed with how I've made such a dent into this plate of noodles as I was so full already from that huge bowl of Tom Yum soup, I thought I was just gonna be able to eat about half the plate and then take the rest to go to eat later. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to eat all of this. Somehow there's enough good flavor going on and good stuff in here for me to be able to easily and effortlessly take it down. So that is a good sign, I suppose. So it's uh, certainly been very easy to go ahead and get it all taken care of here today. So it's uh, certainly been an interesting first visit, and here's my last bite. So just like I've destroyed this plate of noodles, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this dish. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Buzzy's Authentic Thai for a really interesting meal today. 
And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Hunt channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.